Yes. It's Barry here. So I'm gonna be doing the intro today on Dad's camera. Give him a thumbs up on his channel. His channel location, please. Give him a huge thumbs up. Here, we're at a hike. It's so pretty. All right, we're gonna be hiking in the Pololu Valley today. Let's get started. This trail is located in the Kohala region. So already, right when you start out, you've just got a beautiful view of the valley here. Be careful to not fall down. The Kohala volcano erupted 120 years ago. It's one of five volcanoes that make up the big island. So this starts out by going downhill first. Uh, it goes right down into the valley and then you end at a really pretty beach. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be super hot outside, but we'll probably take a dip. Gray is getting to the age where he just wants to hike himself and jump off things. It's fun to not have to carry him, but it is very slow. The kids have been quarantined, and so they've got a lot of pent up energy. We're excited to let him get it out today. I'm noticing that uh, this is not a very muddy hike, which is great. A lot of the hikes in Hawaii can be very muddy. One of the coolest parts of the Big Island is how diverse all of the landscapes are. You've got some areas that feel like you're in the middle of the desert. You've got some areas that feel like you're in the middle of the rainforest. You've got beautiful coastlines behind me. About 250 years ago, there was a massive landslide that created the cliffs that you can see behind me. It also caused a massive tsunami. We've gone so far down in the elevation that I've had to pop my ears a couple of times. Mom and Gray are just zooming down this thing. I'm getting distracted because of all of these amazing views. I can't even handle it. You can see a, a beautiful black sand beach at the bottom. We have been going for about 10, 15 minutes and you are just right along the coast. As you can see, it is just beautiful. You, you get to hike right along this coast and have a view the entire time. Really a spectacular hike. During this part of the hike, you're looking out of the northeast part of the island. So this hike actually reminds me of the Nepali coastline, right? Cliffs, you, get, yeah. you get to hike along the cliffs and along the shore. There's a lot of green on this hike, but you can also see that we're hiking right on top of the iconic lava rock that you see all over the Big Island. You usually never have mud when you're hiking on lava rock. Just one more plus for this hike. Oh, careful guys, I just saw a falling rock. Seriously, did you see that rock that just fell off of this cliff? Hey, look out for falling rocks. Woo! Barry, you're going fast. The Pololu Valley Lookout is awesome, but the hike gives you even better views. Vera, it is so fun to see that you are getting so old and so good at hiking that I can hardly keep up with you. Somebody must have taken their horse down here. Ooh, you can smell it. Wow. Expert hiker right here, ladies and gentlemen. Vera, are you going to be in the hiking Olympics? The first time we came to Kona, we were a bit worried because all we saw was lava rock. This hike is a demonstration of how beautiful the right balance between greenery and lava rock can be. Dad, do you know what I like about this hike? What? Amazing view! It reminds me of hiking down the cliff to the arch in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. You also see the strong water crashing up against the cliffs. Click above and you'll see the video that I did of that height. It's a sheer rock face that you have to free solo, and I got stuck on the face for about 20 minutes. It's quite terrifying to do. One of my favorite parts about hiking is sometimes you'll choose a hike. You won't have very high hopes for it. For example, this one, we saw some pictures, but it just did not do it justice. So far, this hike has been well above any expectation I had, and that just makes it extra, extra fun. We've gotten breathtaking views, some of the best views I've ever seen in my life, of the coast, of cliffs. Vera is doing 
fantastic. It's taken us about 20 minutes so far. We were gonna do a speed run, but honestly, we've had to stop and take in all of the beautiful views that we've seen on this hike. I don't know that we'll do it very fast, but holy cow, it is a beautiful hike. I think this one might be one we're gonna do more regularly. Okay, now we're getting to the bottom of the valley here. I'm going to come out and say it. This is the best hike on the big island in Hawaii. Some hikes are about the trail. Some hikes are about the exercise. Some hikes are about the destination. I got to tell you, this one has everything. the black sand. This is an awesome hike. Very, very impressed. The black sand is kind of fun. It's iconic of the big island. Zach works hard for us to have this hike and he really annoys me making so much video. All right, we just went and took a dip in the water. It is just so fun to have this as your destination of your hike. There's another little trail that kind of goes more into the valley that we're gonna go check out. hike we did today in Pololu Valley. Super fun. There's a ton to explore once you get to the bottom. There's a ginormous beach. There are a bunch of swings. Small size swings, large swings, tight ropes, and then there's a river that kind of runs through the valley. We saw people exploring as well. The waves were pretty big, so we didn't go too far into the water. We're about an hour away from Hilo, maybe an hour 20 from Kona. It's a really interesting rural part of the island. Very remote, very quaint. Some of these properties here are just beautiful. They've got lots of land. It's on the Hilo side, so it's a lot more wet, which makes it really green. And it's still pretty sunny. Every time we've come out here, it's been sunny. One of the reasons people choose Kona is because it doesn't rain as much in Kona uh, as it does in Hilo. So I think this is probably a good balance between the two. You get the green from a little bit of rain, but it's not raining every day and it's not cloudy every day like it is in Hilo. It's also not deserty like it is in Kona. So I think it's a really good balance. When we come back, we're probably gonna stay in these areas. Mm -hmm. 